Well, first it's the knots in the stomach. I, you're going to battle. I mean, even before I, I were in the locker room, right? Just walking down that tunnel, setting down your hockey bag, you know, getting your stuff out, making sure you have everything, throw on the skates, tighten your skates, you know, get your shoulder pads, everything on, throw on the helmet, get your gloves on. And you run on the ice and you just start skating around, the music's playing, and you know, the pucks start dropping, you start skating around with the puck. There's nothing like it. But I'm getting chills just thinking about getting out on that ice. Coming over here with my mom to the United States when I was only five after losing my father, um, and feeling fairly alone growing up, being the only child, just watching my mom kind of take those night shifts, working at the post office, and um, you know us living in the projects. I had to find a way to be tough and get through those times. And then one of my neighbors uh, had two boys, hockey guys, dad was a coach, and uh, introduced me to street hockey. I, I just kind of went from there. We were in a regional tournament in Alaska, in Anchorage, and we were in the semifinal game. The scouts came in, you know, and they, were, they pulled me out of the locker room and said they were interested in me. And so anyway, they talked to my trainers and exchanged information. And then um, the team was Kamloops Blazers and I ended up uh, going out with them, which is the semi-pro Western Hockey League. I think with the commitment with sports, sometimes it was too much of a commitment where I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't have the tools and resources or the guidance and how to overcome that pressure. I was partying, drinking, and doing all the, the things that a 15, 16 year old that's got a hockey opportunity shouldn't be doing. I think the hardest thing on me was when everything started going away. I got kicked out of school. My good friends, the people that cared most about me, that truly loved me, um, stop talking to me and I hung up the skates for a whole year after that. I knew that I always had a bigger purpose. Having my father be right there with me along the way, even though he wasn't here physically, he was there with me always in spirit and I always had that inside of me to know that I could have the courage to step up and rise up and be better than what I was doing. Hey, you're gonna be a star too. Looking back now, when I sit here today, uh, I can't regret that entirely, just simply because I'm so blessed right now. Meeting my beautiful wife, and you know, here we are with four kids now. Even before having kids, I was a coach, uh, a hockey coach, and I volunteered my time. And I think that was really important to me to give back uh, to the sport and the community that gave me core values. That's why it's so important for me to get my story out there, so people know that there's hope, that there's other ways of getting out of whatever troubles you're going through and challenges, and to be resilient. You have to be resilient, and, and, and there is very dark moments, and that's okay, that's part of the process. It's just asking for help, telling the truth, and being honest with yourself, I think that's the first step.